Welcome back to Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire, everybody. This is Jason. This episode, I'm going to put the power feed on. If you remember from my first video, there was no crank on here because it was used in production. So I just had this cover made for the lead screw. A little bushing in there. Pretty nicely made piece, but it's useless to me. To start with, I'm going to put this piece on the end. Let the power feed mounts do. Yeah, that's tight. Next piece I'll go on will be the sleeve that goes over the shaft. And then it will fit into the bushing on there. So I'll get that on there next. Alright, the sleeve's on there. Not ready to mount the power feed on. couple cap screws to hold that in place. Okay, that's on. I'll go to the other end and turn the crank, make sure nothing's binding. Everything looks good there. That'll test fit this gear on here. Comes with a whole stack of shims. Shim it out to make it fit your machine. In case you're wondering, the instructions that come with these are an absolute joke. So you kind of just got to guess and by golly on the shims till what till you get what seems like a good fit on it. Sounds about the best there. Okay, now the shims are right. Go ahead and put the Woodruff key in the shaft. And the gear can go on. Next, the graduated dial and nut can go on. Finally, the other handle. And the nut for that. And that's bound up. It goes binding here. I'm going to put a shim on the back side of the graduated dial, see if that helps. Okay, the handle turns free, you can adjust the Knob free. Powered up. I'm going to mount the Y-axis scale right here. There's three factory holes here. So I think I'm going to try and utilize them as a mounting point. And this kit comes with these universal aluminum brackets that really don't fit anything. But I'm going to see if I can make that work or something close to it. Copy it. Come right off there and mount my reader head to. We'll get it mounted first. 
I have these aluminum slugs in my odds and ends box. I think I might be able to make work. I'll get these drilled and tapped out and mounted on here. Just use some set screws. Thread them in there, thread that on there. And I can drill my mounting holes to mount this on. Be right back. Okay, I got one side up there already. I got a set screw in the hole. And I drill and tap these aluminum slugs to match it. Now I can just mount that one up there. I don't think they're centered with the holes. Looks like they're pretty close. But I don't think it's quite there. I'm going to get a transfer punch and mark that. Okay, that's mounted on there. I'll cut the shrink wrap off holding the reading head on there and get an indicator on there. See how straight we are. A little plastic clip in there that holds it too. It's best to leave that in. Until you're done so you don't damage the scale in there. I know you can't see it, but I'm going to get this zeroed out. See how I am for alignment. Should be fairly close. Smart guy would have put the indicator where it could make the full travel. Now we just need a bracket to mount that to. Don't really see any good way that that's going to work. We'll come up with something else. Be right back. I got a bracket fabbed up out of a piece of aluminum to hold that reader. It's nothing fancy and I didn't show it because every every application is going to be a little bit different. I'll get the reader mounted up to it. That's tightened up. Can remove that plastic shield from the scale. That axis should be ready to go. Yeah, it's kind of tough to do it and have a camera on it at the same time, but the scale for the x axis mounts just like the y does. 
screwed right to the back of the table. The reader head is up under there. Then I got chip guard on this one. That's going to do it for the BRO installation video. I know it's short, not very detailed. I need to get this machine up and running so we can make this money. <laughs>